Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Madonna Ballard and this is my channel and I'm doing Vlogmas. And today is day 24. And since nobody gave me a straight answer when I asked if I'm supposed to do this every day, I looked it up and it's only for the month. The month. That's it. But I was thinking I've had something to talk about every day because... Lynette, the wonderful Lynette from Charm Grammy Crochet, um, gave me a gift to open, at least for the first 25. So, I run out of presents tomorrow, so, and no, I'm not asking for more presents. I'm just saying, I don't have nothing to talk about after these are done. Look at there. Oh my God. Anyway. Hope you're having all having a have very happy Christmas Eve. Um, today is sunny, but it's only like three degrees, so it's a bit chilly. Um, but it's sunny and beautiful. I don't like the sun. Sorry, those people that do. I mean, I like it. I just don't want it touching me. And it's always touching me. Driving me nuts. Anyway. So. Hope you're all having a great Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you to the people that. Again PayPal'd me a gift. That's awesome. It is so getting us through this month. The end of the year is always so hard for us. And that's. Well besides the holes in the roofs. And the. Damage to this wonderful abode. Um, we have six animals, and it seems like all their vet stuff comes due at the end of the year, October, November, and December, and it just put, puts us so far behind, and we do save up during the year for that, but like I said, we had a few structure damage things, and, but we're doing fine, we are, and thank you, thank you, thank you for the PayPal's. We would be hurting a little bit without it. So it was great. And thank you to the people that told me about COVID tests are supposed to be free. And um, even sent me a link to check that out. So we're going to do that and see if we can maybe not have to pay all of that $500. So thank you. What another great Christmas gifts. You guys are awesome, and I so appreciate it. I really, really, really do. Um, I know I don't act like it, and I know I'm a smart ass and sarcastic and drink way too much beer, but if I wasn't me, then I couldn't do this because I don't know how to be anybody else. Not this late in the game. So, thank you all, and let's get to the whole gift. This one does say ho, but it says ho, ho, ho. So she's really getting at me. It's a big one too. Look. Such a cute bag. I'm going to miss this. Not that I want someone to do this for me every month. I'm just saying. This was so fun. And I enjoyed it. And everything is so cute. I didn't think anybody was paying attention to my videos that well. But Lynette really did. Every single gift has been right on the money. Honey. Right on the money, honey. Woohoo! Mandela! Look, green Mandela! Yeah, baby. Oh, I love this yarn so much. And I don't really even care about the color. Wait, although happy, happy, happy is always going to be my favorite. Happy, 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 and Picasso from Ice. My two favorite yarns in the world. Mostly because of their color, but Mandela is really easy to work with. So is Picasso, but you can't wash Picasso because it's got wool in it. Lots of wool. This is a number four. We all know that. 344 yards. Zen. Green is Zen. Don't send it to Laura, though. She don't like this. Um, 
there's what it looks like when it's worked up. Let me see if I can do this. Yep. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Thank you, Lynette. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, that's what I was going to look up to see what it is. I mean, I know it's yarn, but it's 100% acrylic. So, this is great. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, don't be ruining my yarn. You wouldn't think tape would do that. Oh, it's part of that. Must have been part of the label. Label, label, label. And our whole note. Whole note number 24. Oh, don't rip it. There. Mandela Ombre in the color Zen. Makes you want to crochet again. Yes, it does. Although I never not wanted to crochet. Well, I lost my crochet a couple times in the last 30 or 40 years, but not very often. If I lose my crojo, I just make either a granny square or a dish rag or washcloth, and it comes right back. Just something small, something with instant gratification, and I'm good. Even when I don't even want to pick up a hook. I just do. And my crojo is back. But it doesn't happen very often. So, what did I do? Oh! I did do something yesterday. I finished, I'm making three of these. But I finished the first one. I know, it's all, it's going to be all wrinkly and stuff. But, here you go, over the oven, this towel thingy. This one's for my niece with the hot pink. Can you see it? I'm not good at this on my phone. I'm not good at this on anything, but I'm worse on my phone. And I chose not to put the apron on the back. So the back's plain. But there we go. Thank you, Crystal at Bag O' Day Crochet. For the wonderful pattern. Very easy, very fun to make. And it will be very handy. So I'm making another one. For my cousin's girlfriend. And her kitchen is. Blue. So her apron will be blue. Baby blue. And. Then one for my cousin. Which will be brown. Because he's like old. Old, 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 and very set in his ways, and wouldn't matter what color his kitchen is, if I didn't make his brown, he would throw it in a drawer and never look at it again. He's just that kind of guy. Stereotypes. He's very into stereotypes. He's not racist or anything like that, but boys do this and girls do this. He's pretty open-minded, but for himself, he's not. That's what I meant, I think. But anyway, he's a great guy. He takes great care of me, even though he's older. Stacks my fray, my freezer. Because um, he lives on the farm, so he butchers a cow or a pig or whatever. And when he does that, he usually always includes us, and we get something out of it. God, I hate cats. That scared the holy hell out of me. And, oh, did I have this in your spot? I am so sorry. My bad. So anyway, on that note, it's all right. Why are you scared? What do you think is going to happen? What's up? No. No. No, Teddy. Get off my computer. Come on. All right, that's it. You're grounded. No water for you. You have to drink out of the toilet. Ha! Just kidding. We keep the lid down. So, so he can't. This is what he wants. I don't know why he's freaking out. But anyway. So everybody have a wonderful Christmas. A wonderful Christmas Eve. 
And let's just keep chatting because I can't shut the video off and I don't edit. I'm not doing this again. So, anyway, after this I will be in my dungeon watching NCIS and crocheting more of those things I just showed you. The other two, at least. So, Teddy, how's your Christmas Eve going? Good? Well, good. Wouldn't have it any other way. How's that water? You know it's fresh every day just for you. Yep. You could at least look once at the camera and say hi to the people. But then again, I wouldn't either, I guess, if I was that thirsty. How can you be that thirsty? You don't do anything. So I'll just peek over. It's already bit. Thank you. That was gross. You, everybody laugh, laugh, laugh because life's too short not to.